everybody, I'm Renee from Wanna Scrap, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I put together these adorable miniature wrapped uh, candles of three. So what I used was my dowels. It was just a, uh, you know, the longest skewers, but obviously you can use shorter skewers. Um, I got three sets of three wrapped candles out of one skewer, so that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. You know, if you're not into using wax or you don't have any wax or crayons around, um, this is another uh, fun way to put together some candles. And I think they still look pretty realistic. And they could be used for doll houses, um, anything like that, you know, or in your projects when you're scrapbooking or making cards, like anything. They just turned out so awesome. So I'm just going ahead and uh, going to paint them black after I got them all sanded because the edges will be rough. And the way I cut them, there was a little divot on uh, one side of each of the little pieces I cut off. So I used that as an opportunity to uh, put my wick into near the end here. So I'm just going ahead and painting top, bottom, um, everywhere you can see the wood just make sure it's painted black or red or white or whatever your color may be I'm doing this with thoughts of Halloween so and then you want to heat up your trusty uh, glue gun and you just want to start dragging the glue tip along to give a uh, waxed melted wax effect and I really love how this turned out you just want to look around and see and it just needs a couple seconds to cool it may not be completely dry but if you just hold it or wave it and within seconds you can still put it down and then I grabbed some silver uh, ink <laughs> the ink pad and one of the sets I did use a white ink pad and on another set I used like a metallic greenish um, ink pad so and I love the effect of all and of course you could use red um, whatever color you want now I'm just putting a dot of glue into the uh, little divot that was caused from me cutting the pieces off. And if you don't have a divot, that's fine too. I still had to do one without a little divot in the top. And I just took out some random string that I had, you know, from some project or something I unraveled. And that's what I'm using as my wick because I don't actually want to light these candles but I do want to give them a lit effect. So I'm just going ahead because the candles welted, <laughs> welted, the candles melted. So you want to look like the candle had been burning. I did leave one set, uh, un, um, I didn't take a lighter to it, but um, I think I'm going to go back and do it because it just kind of looks funny to have all the wax melted and then the wick hasn't even been lit. I'm just going ahead and doing this here. A little bit of glue. I missed a little bit of paint there, but that's totally fine. And I'm just getting the last wick in. You just want to push it down, make sure it's taken a hold, and then cut the uh, string there. And then next, we're going to um, light the wicks. So I just grabbed a lighter, if I can find the way to light it. I always have a problem with that lighter. And please be careful when doing this, you know. It's never good to uh, have open flames in a craft room, <laughs> to say the very least. Or you can use a candle also. So now I'm going to join together all the candles. So I'm just putting some hot glue on the side and... Uh, I'm just figuring which way I want to put it on here. And you will need to hold it for a few seconds and possibly put a little bit of glue on the back, which I'm doing here right now. And I just want to take this moment here to say, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free to do so. I would love you to be part of my YouTube family. And if you like these types of videos, give it a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. So I know to keep putting out more content like this. 
And right now we are almost done. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the description box below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now I'm just digging out some string that I had. It's a metallic string that I bought in a six pack from the dollar store a long time ago. So I really like the black and silver effect. So I'm just gluing it, which is hard to see right now, but I'm just gluing it on the uh, near the bottom. I want should have went up higher, but I went a little bit near the bottom. And I just put a dab of hot glue just to hold the string down like I'm doing right here to hold the last piece of the string. And then you just want to snip it off and voila, you are done. Aren't they the cutest things? I love them. I absolutely love them. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day and bye for now.